Palace, Filipinos Mordesa, Pier, Gina Lopez, Metro Manila, CNN Philippines, August 19, tributes are pouring in for Stomp's environmental advocate and philanthropist Gina Lopez. Palace mourns the death of Lopez, who was appointed by President Rodrigo Duterte as Environment Secretary but later rejected by the Commission on Appointments. The Palace weekly briefs the demise of one of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's most passionate, cabinet members whose environmental advocacy and legacy remains in parallel to this day. Presidential spokesperson Sal Kainlo said on Monday, Malacanang gave honor to Lopez who staunchly campaigned against open pit mining in the country. Duterte previously said she was probably rejected by the Commission on Appointments in March 2017 after 11 months in office because she came to draw on the business in the mining industry. She, visible by the forms when she fiercely fought powerful interests in the mining sector, as well as an industry having a negative effect on our ecology. She would be greatly missed. It said. Her successor Roy Simon remembers Lopez as a very strict environmentalist. He also recalled how she sent her signature song, I Believe I Can Fly, when she turned over the post to him. I will not forget your advocacy for a better environment for our country. I will not also forget your song during our turnover in May 2017, the song, I Believe I Can Fly. So, Beth, Gina, F-L-Y-N-O-W, he said in a statement. Senator Lisa Haunted Rose Grace Lopez, just to go against the, these polluters. She'll always be remembered that way, as a fighter whose legacy will be remembered by many. Salamat, Gina. Rest in peace. She tweeted. Former Senator J.B. Ejercito also echoed the same sentiment. Netizens also sent their messages of love to Lopez. After battling brain cancer, ABS Ashton Corporation said. She was 65. In lieu of flowers and mass cards, the family is requesting that donations be made to the ABS Ashton Foundation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.